Hey guys, I'm Brendan. This is a video for a channel that doesn't yet exist. I'm going to have a whole heap of homesteading tips, uh, plus life, living in a tiny home, uh, and all sorts of self-sufficiency off-grid things down the track. But for now, we're doing a review on a Hunger Buster ration pack based on the Australian military CR1M, Combat Ration One Man. Now, I've been wanting to do this video for a while after being inspired by Steve, MRE1989 and Crazy Russian Hacker. And the guys here are big fans of both of you guys. And today we've got... Chris. And... Aurora. As my co-reviewers. This is something I've been wanting to do for so long and I really can't wait to get into it. Um, the package consists of breakfast is your muesli. Mini goreng at Mini goreng for lunch. And then you've got your spaghetti bolognese and instant mashed potato for dinner. Accessories include your biscuit cream cracker. What's that one? Uh, cereal apricot bar. And, um, and your blueberry and apple bar. Is that what you want? Veggie bar. And strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. And then candy chocolate, which is M and M's. <laughs> Dark chocolate bar. Sweet and condensed milk. And then you've got your beverages. So there's the hot chocolate, coffee, tea, orange squash cordial, and then sugar salt and pepper and I've bought this uh, package from the Aussie Storm Shop. Right guys, what do you reckon? Should we start with breakfast? Yeah! Alright, cut. <laughs> this is so good. Alright, thanks to the uh, magic of editing, you guys don't have to stick around for the boring parts. We're going to start off with breakfast right now. We've got the natural muesli with milk powder. And I've got no idea how much water to use, but we'll just uh, wing it, hey Chris? Yeah. Woo! That's like a porridge and muesli. And you can't have this hot on a warm on a cold winter's day. So that's our muesli. We're gonna mix that in with some water. Is that swing going to rush? <laughs> Unfortunately we don't get the proper shovel lock in the real um CRYMs. Up a muesli, a little bit of the taro, uh, I think it'll be yum. Dibs first try. Yeah, well we got to let this sit and do it sing for a little bit. And uh, this is a special, special properly for our breakfast. Although it's still see. takes a fair bit of water. That's the move. Oh, we'll Stir that in and then we let that reconstitute, hey guys? Yeah, when that's going, can we do it Uh, yep, we'll get that on next. Wait, Chris. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to try our orange squash while that muesli reconstitutes. And that is it, all that confusing. It's not. It's got lots of I'm trying to do the right thing and check these packets because I want to display them, even though they're not that exciting, like a, a uh, sea ration from the Vietnam War. That'd be cool. Uh -huh. It is yeah, so nice. Yeah. There's a little bit of cake in there, but I think it should be alright. Cake? Caking, so it's oh. not as fresh as it should be. These ingredients are about a year old now. You want to mix that up, Chris? Over there. I'll just let for that sit for a bit. Right. Let's have a go at these crackers, hey guys. Yeah. yeah. The crackers. The crackies. Oh, they look nice. I'm going to have to open the pot in there. There's food, there's the crackers. <coughs> And we have the so these are the biscuit cream cracker. Ooh. Ooh. Right, I reckon. I use the, 
Oh, where you Vegemite? start with the Vegemite because yeah. it's savoury. Now you guys know how to open these with the little seal? Yeah. You got a little spike in the lid. And look, we got some Vegemite. Oh, I don't. Um. We're gonna try a little bit like this first. Mm -hmm. The kettle! Have a taste of that. Yeah, Rory, have some mm. Vegemite. It's actually really nice. Oh, you're a piggy. Mm. Right, let's have a go at it on this cracker. Now, for all the Americans watching this, I should be so lucky, you only want a really thin smear of Vegemite because it's quite strong. Or as it's called in the tube, the yeast extract. Yeah, it's really strong. It's really, really strong. Let's have a little smear of the yeast extract. Yeah, because it's so... You only want one thing we like that, you guys in America? Yeah! Alrighty, let's have a taste. Is it yum? I'm used to mops, so I can't say anything special about it. Nice crisp cracker, I assume it's like a sayo or something. How about you have a go, Chris? I want to have a go. Yeah. I'm waiting my turn. There you go, Rory. What do you reckon? Mm. You like that one? Mm, it's good. It's alright. Can't forget our cameraman. You want to give that bit to our cameraman, Jared, Chris? Give it a go, mate. Yeah. What do you reckon? Alright, I reckon we need to cleanse our palate with this orange crush. Me first. Oh, well, alright, mate. There you go. Look at the camera and tell them what you think. It smells a bit like orange juice. How does it taste? Might be a little bit weak. Yeah. Oh, alright. We'll it, miss it, five. It, it's kind of like water but with like a little bit of like oil. How does that taste Aurora? Good! A lot of water. Very weak. Yeah I probably did use a little bit too much water in this big glass but even learn. <coughs> Alright let's get stuck into this music, eh guys? Yeah. Oh yeah look at that. Uh, you want a little bit milky still. You probably don't want to be too dry. Lots of pepitas and sultanas. I think there's cranberries and apricots in here too. Yes. Yeah, just wants to be a little bit slushy like that once you've uh, reconstituted it. What's the contents for you? Oh, I'll show you that in a sec. I reckon we need to have a go at this while it's playing. Mm, yeah. Let's give it a go. I've got a sweet too, so it's a little bit plain for me. Yeah. What do you reckon, Rora? Oh, you have a taste from that spoon. Still enough subtle sweetness from the, the dried fruit in there. What do you think, Rora? There you go, Chris. Can I this spoon? For now. That's weird as. You know, what, what are you tasting there? There's pepitas and sunflower seeds, we've got some apricots, cranberries, and a hell of a lot of oats and powdered milk, aka crema. And handing over, okay? Alright, so now we've got a little trick to make this a bit sweeter. Sweet and condensed milk. So, again, you got to stab it with the top of the cap. Alright, how about have a little taste? That's a clean spoon there. That's all ready because it's so hot out here in the West Australian wheat belt today. Yeah. What do you reckon? Oh, that's Chris? normal, it tastes like custard. Yep, yeah, and I can get you the tins mm. of this and we boil it up on the stove in the tin. Yes, please. And it's like a caramel once you've boiled it in the tin for a couple of hours. Mm. Alright, mate, how about you have some of the sweet and condensed milk on you? Biscuit cream cracker. No. You don't want to have any of that. All right. Now the trick to these mueslis is to put a bit of the sweetened condensed milk in, and that ups the sugar. 
Ah, uh, whack it all in, who cares? Can I have a taste? Yeah, we've got to mix it all in first, Aurora. Yeah. Are you going more of that yeast extract, hey, Chris? Yeah. Mix it all in, that should be lots sweeter for those of us that like our sugar. I don't like my sugar that much. No. That's certainly much better. I know when our uh, hard working military forces are out in the field on patrol and in combat, they uh, rely on this sweet and condensed milk for a little bit more energy each day. Mm. Mm. These guys are heroes, hey Chris, going away in the Army uh -huh. and the Air Force and the Navy. Um, they really do a good job for our country. This is Batman Superman. And Batman. Alright, let's put that to one side for now. It's better than Superman. How about we have a go at the strawberry jam? Now yeah. that you've uh, drawn the veggie right again, Chris. Yeah, it's alright. Oh. I just want to have a taste of these crackers on their own, Huntley and Palmer's. Ooh. Do you want to stab? Not that one, Aurora. Mm. Not bad on their own. Uh, just nice plain crackers. Now you got to push that into there to pop that silver foil seal. So you got to stab it on that spike. Don't squeeze too much. Yeah. Just pop. And look, there's strawberry jam in there. There go. Let go, let go. Right, let's give you a little taste of that one, Aurora. Yeah. I don't know what happened to my co-reviewer, Chris. He's just taken off on me. <coughs> what do you reckon of that one? I've heard this is pretty good. So. Uh, we had a little technical glitch then. Apparently my Fujifilm camera don't, doesn't like to uh, record past a certain amount of time. Um, in the meantime, we're trying out strawberry jam. I've heard these jams in the tube are pretty, pretty good, so I'm really looking forward to trying it. Mm. That's a nice jam, really bursting with flavour. But we're going to have to try that on the crackers, eh, Aurora? Yeah. Uh, we'll just use that one. Put our things over there for now. Let's spread out some of this nice strawberry jam. Give it to me, and I'll taste it. Now what's happening with my co-reviewer? He's going to miss out on the strawberry jam. Oh. I'll just give him some of them. Mm. Oh, it's really, really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, a little bit there for Aurora. What do you think of that jam, Aurora? There you go, Chris. A little bit for our cameraman. He just doesn't want to appear on camera today. Cameraman Joe. Right. <laughs> mm. That really is good jam. It's better than uh, what I've been yeah. getting in the shops. Mm. Right. What happened to that cordial? Oh, we finished it. Oh, I barely got any. Thanks, guys. You're welcome. I just have to cleanse, cleanse my palate with some good old tap water. Bye, bye, try. That's just water out of the tap, Laura. Yeah. Right, what do we got next? Um, I reckon we'll call this morning tea and... What's that one, Chris? Um, drinking chocolate. Yep. So let's mix that up. Do we need the kettle water? Yeah, how about you go and get that kettle, Chris? Oh, cameraman Joe can do it. Yeah. Good having a handyman like that. This stuff should be pretty good. Well done, cameraman Joe. Here we go, cameraman Joe. So Thank that's you. our cafe Joe. to soul drinking chocolate. Okay. Just leave the kettle there, mate. Mix and it. We've only got two sugars, so we're going to have to go one in each for now. One in that one. Do we need right. any milk? Nope. Okay, so it's good. Can't carry milk out in the field, Chris. That's going to be a little bit hot, so we're going to have to give it a good old stir and wait for it to do its thing. <coughs> and in the meantime, let's do this coffee, Chris. And Aurora. Yeah. Yeah, leave that alone. 
for all the stuff out there. So it's out of the camera's view. Right, we've got our sugar. And a Cafe de Sol Freeze Dry Coffee Supreme. I want to open this one. Alright, Chris. Take the top off of that scalpel there. Careful, that's hot. How'd you go, mate? You got it open? Yep. Alright. This is our Cafe de Sol Freeze Dried Coffee. Ah, that looks weird. Yeah. Does it smell like the coffee? You sure we won't need any condensed milk or sugar? Alright. I reckon we should try black first. Yeah. A little more in there. Yeah, Put that one out of the way. This might be a bit hot for you guys. Yeah, it's going to be a bit strong as well. Put a little bit more water in there. And then I'm going to show you guys a little trick. Yeah, you'll find out. Don't mix them. It's called mocha. Oh, I love mocha. Right. So you're not going to try the coffee, hey, Chris and Aurora? Mm -hmm. I love coffee. Let's give this black coffee you guys, which I don't normally drink. Mmm, that's not bad. It's very hot, Chris. Do you want me to cool it down a bit first? Um, just use that one, mate. Let's slurp it up with that. Yeah. Yeah, you don't like it black at all, do you? Do you nah. want to try some black coffee, yeah. Aurora? Yeah. I think we're going to get a funny reaction off you, too. Just, just grab it like a tiny bit. bit. It is disgusting. Make sure it's not too hot for Miss Five. <laughs> there we go, that one, Aurora. It's disgusting. Ooh. What do you think? Is it yucky? Oh, I'm promising. Alright, yeah. let's have a go at the, <coughs> the chocolate. <coughs> Mmm. Yeah, that was good. You like that one? Let's yeah. have a go at this one. That's very, very weak. Mmm. That's a good good chocolate. Uh, these guys are used to drinking Milo. Cameraman Joe wants some. Alright, alright, this is this is hot chocolate. Ooh. You're gonna like this one. Try that one, cameraman Joe. Doesn't even need that much sugar. Really sweet on its Is that own. good, cameraman Joe? Oh, is it a bit hot still? Right down in this one. Cameraman that? Joe hates it. <laughs> what do you think of that, Rora? Good. <coughs> do you want to try the All right, hot cocoa? Alright, now we're going to try it this way. The hot cocoa, Cameraman Joe. Got to have lots of this sweating in its milk. Oh, it's really good stuff. Stir it up. Cameraman Joe likes the um, cocoa. Chocolate. I guess that. Mm. It's a lot better with the condensed milk. <coughs> oh, you. Oh, you don't like that one? Still disgusting. Might be a bit hot for you, still, Aurora, but you can have some of this hot chocolate in a sec. Still disgusting. Do you want to try some, do you, Aurora? Ew! Pull it down. Cameraman Joe, do you want to swap? And I reckon we might need to call for a cut. For a cut? Ew, it still tastes disgusting. Hey. Back again, guys. I don't know why my camera decides to only record for a short amount of time. We're going to have a go at this uh, hot chocolate with the sweetened condensed milk now. There you go, Chris. You want to have a go at that one? <laughs> Does that taste better now? Yeah. Have a good sip. That's right. good. Now a little bit for Aurora. Cameraman Joe is dying Oop. to have some. It's a little bit too hot, sorry. He has never tried it before. You He's like got a one, Aurora? wondering. Does it need some marshmallows? Alright, now I'm going to have a go at this and then we're going to do a little secret I've heard from Steve, uh, MRE 1989. Mm. 
Mm. Oh, I could definitely fun. drink that one every night. Does Tyler enjoy what's up? Cameraman Joe. Right, now let's have a go at this little trick I've heard about. Ready for a little adjournment. Yeah, have a go at this army mocker that I heard about from Steve. Oh, we're making a mess all over Mum's sheet here, guys. It's just the sheet. They still not using the tablecloth. Well, it should be a lot cleaner than this, but who cares? This is a lot of fun. Alrighty. Oh, you're trying to mock it first. Let's have a go at this mocker. Mm, that's really good. Where was this the hot chocolate? No, it's the mocha. Ooh! Yeah, it's so didn't use all of that coffee, which is probably a good thing. Now that's still hot Aurora, you're going to want a spoon. Cameraman Joe is also dying for this as well. Yeah, what do you think of that one? That's got a bit of coffee in it too. Now you're going to be hyper all night, aren't you Aurora? Cameraman Joe and mum. Alright. I reckon it's time for Despite part of our morning tea, isn't it, guys? Mm. Yeah, we've just had morning tea though. Yeah, well, we're gonna have the Ooh, fun stuff. I uh, will leave that for, for dinner. Mm. And for we'll, we'll have a go at these uh, cereal bars and. Where's the other cereal bar? The. Cadbury. 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 Fruit bar, wherever that went. Oh, there. Thanks, Jared. Alright. Uh, it's right, jolly. I'm going to give you guys a taste of this one first because I don't know if it'll be quite to your tasting. I want to try first. Can't wait till you see what this looks like, Chris. There you go. What does it look like? Mm. 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 That is a fruit bar. Mm -hmm. You want me to break a bit off for you? Yes, please. Mm. That looks weird as. It feels weird. There you go. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's like chocolate. That's what it looks so what was in this one? We've got the all fruit bar mixed fruit. It's got concentrated apple puree and apple juice. It's got black currant puree, nice. strawberry puree, blueberry puree, citrus fibre, jelly agent, natural flavours of fruit and vegetable concentrates, black carrot and black currant. Okay. This has got black currant taste in it. Yeah, I can smell that. Right, here we go. Here, Aurora. How about you have a taste Three, of this one? Three, two, one. What do you reckon, Chris? Well, actually, not that bad. Really nice. Mm, that is really good. Mm. Yeah, that's crazy. I could quite happily have these each day. So, mm. so cameraman Joe. It is really young. That's a veggie one, by the way, cameraman Joe. All right, let's try the apricot cereal bar next day, guys. Yeah. yeah. Does this one look weird as well? No, this is something you would have seen before, I think. At the supermarket. You know these ones, don't you, Chris? Yes. And this is another co reviewer, this is Jane. My mum. Bit for Chris. More for me. Yum. Bit for mm. Aurora. Oh, no, that's good. Mm. Bit for our cameraman Jared. Joya! If he has a mullet. Mm. Nice, good. Kind of like a bit of cake with some jam inside. Mm. Is that good, cameraman Joe? Is that good review of mum? And now we've got the cereal yeah. bar, blueberry and apple. Mmm. That apple got one was good. Stop it, cameraman Joe. Stop killing the camera. This one I think will be even better. Hey, look at little Miss Dip Dip here. <laughs> With the. There we go, this one. This mock. Wait, yeah, have another cut. I'm really going to have to look at the manual for my camera, I think. But down the track, I want to really get myself set up with cameras and probably even a drone. Now, let's have a go at this blueberry and apple. Yeah. Cereal bar. My co-reviewer keeps jumping off camera. 
Mmm. There's some for Aurora. Mmm. What does that taste like, Chris? Mmm. And a bit more for our co reviewer, Jane. Come on. Yoink. Same again, bit of cake wrapped around a bit of fruit. Nothing fancy, but it tastes pretty good. Mm. Definitely a much nicer taste than the apricot. <laughs> She's dying to try the chocolate. She's dying to try the water, apparently. Alright, watch this one there, and then I reckon we. Ah, oh, what are you? You're a grot. You're a big grot. <laughs> What's the time, Mum? 4.30. Oh, they've been going 10 minutes. All right, mm -hmm. let's have a quick break and we'll get some lunch on. Okay. Hey guys, back again. Where have you been, Chris? Oh, footy. Talk the camera. Oh, I've been at footy. What sort of footy is it? Oh, well, AFL. What's, what's the non-game Panther team is the best team yet. Um, what sort of football is footy for the, all our international viewers? AFL. What's AFL. Uh, Australian Football League. Australian rules. Huh? Australian rules. No. And you've been there too, haven't you, Aurora? Did you do lots of running today? Yeah, yeah and I was there too. That's cameraman. All right, let's get yeah. this show on the road again. We've yeah, got our let's get this show on the road. Going, pretty simple two-minute noodles. Whack in the boiling water, let it soak. That's the Nothing special about that. We'll put seasoning in afterwards. That's, that's the flavouring stuff we've got for us. You got a hand out, Jared. Got an instant mashed potato. Let's whack it in there. Right. Yeah, let's whack it in there, mate. You've got to get your hand and go whack it in. Take it all down. Mashed potato. Mashed potato. Let's take a look at this. Mashed potato. Take a look. <coughs> Yeah, that's good as bro. Dehydrated potatoes and there that's is some um, chives in there. That's good Bang isn't it? it in. Yeah, put it back up. Roy, say hello. Hi. Pretty basic dehydrated mashed potato. Bang oh. it in the bowl. Throw things everywhere. Puts out raw hot. And then it needs a cup of water. Uh, wait, is that hot water? Yes, yes it's out of the kettle. Why do you have a scalpel? Stab. I'll scalpel you. Okay, so Christian's just poured in the good shit. Give it a good stir, let it all reconstitute, and we got mashed potatoes. Oh, that looks nice. Can I have the face <coughs> first taste? Yeah, and I'll record you. Christian will be recording now. Well, Jared eats. Yeah, let's let's give us. Give it a go, Jared. Okay. What do you reckon? That's cameraman. It's good, yeah. but it tastes a bit dry. My name. Probably needs to sit for a bit, guys, or we might we might let us have a bit it's more. Dry. Water. It's dry. It's dry. Apparently, but I don't um, know what it tastes too like. Too much. <coughs> Maybe Martin. we need some milk. Martin. No, because no. you go out and have milk out in the field when you're a soldier, will you, Jared? No, you got the condensed, condensed milk. milk. Yeah, no, that's sweet, and we want savoury potatoes. No, we don't. A little bit for Aurora. Let's go right up to there. Hey, we're at the top door, and we're editing at the same time as recording. I'm just going to go shut the door now. What do you think, Aurora? That's the editing right there with me in it. Oh. Ah, Chris's turn. Bye bye. Yeah, give us the camera break. Where do I get to have some? You love that. Okay, get here he goes. Yeah, me. Alright, let's give those a go. Good old Deb. They're good, eh? Mm. They're real good. Mm. What about mm. you? How does that taste? That's good. I haven't had stuff like this in a long time. Yeah, give me some, bro. Mm. And then I think we need to call for cut. Uh, really? What about this one? Back again. What do you guys reckon of that mashed spud? Oh, that was nice. That was pretty awesome, eh? <laughs> now we're going on. We're going from dinner to lunch, so I don't know what we're doing. We got the Porter's Premium Classic Blend Tea. Look. Let's get that brewing away. Look. <coughs> the kettle, bro. 
And look at the noodles. We Bit have. of nice colour there. I'll go get the condensed milk. Let's put that aside for now. Let's go get what the condensed the milk. All right, we'll let the meat go. Right. Oh, Jared, you recording or what? Yeah, I just got the condensed milk for you. Okay, there we go. Are you rolling or what? Yeah. All right, we've got a pretty standard meat going. Bit of flavour, bit of fried onion. Fried onion. That's the best. The apple's falling apart. I'll cut it. We're doing lunch now. Pretty basic, like what you buy in the shops. Mini Korean is the best noodles, don't you reckon, Christian? Yeah, they're all right. You know? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I need to talk now. <laughs> oh, all right. All right, do you like mini green noodles? I, I, yeah, I'm going to taste the noodles in a minute. Oh, you. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi, guys. Mm. You know, hey, everyone watching is Look at all the potato, all guys. The There's so much. All right. Boom. Got a uh, sweet soy sauce. <laughs> Yes, soy sauce is good for it, Rory. Move your hand burn in for a sec. It's not rocket science, of course, just a base. It is rocket science, they need to see going. it. Oh, look at that sauce, bro. Mm. And yeah, there's a little bit of chilli in there already, Chris. Yes, yeah. chilli, chilli, more chilli. Put all the chilli in, that's what no. I always do. No. Good old sweet soy Put sauce. Put all the chilli. What if he doesn't like chili? Then he's a pusta. No, uh, Jared, we're gonna have to edit that out. Cut. Lee. Sorry, guys. We experienced some. We experienced some technical diff difficulties thanks to teenagers. Anyway, bit of seasoning oil in the mee goreng. Yeah. Give it a good stir, and it's. Yeah. What can I say? It's mee goreng. And Jared, um, the cameraman ran away. No, I'm ready. Oh, don't mind me. I've just got some wuzzy bites and I'm punching. Nothing fancy, but it tastes pretty bloody good. Can I taste it first? Yeah. Two, four, six, eight, bog in, don't wait. Gotta throw in the Australian news and stuff as well. What about this tea, bro? That's for later. It's brewing. Yeah. It's brewing. Yeah. Mmm, mm, how good is that? Can I have a taste? Yeah, yeah. Mmm! Well, I think mm. that's better than what we buy in the shops, eh? No, not really. Shandala, I have some. Mmm! Me and Goran, I love to eat that every day. You're piggy, Rora. I used to. Needs more chilli. Nah, it's perfect, actually. Alright. Needs more chilli. Mm. Can I have the rest? Here we go. I'm waiting for my own. Me and you can have the rest. No, they too! No, you, you just had the dress. Wait, Aurora. I need the book! Aurora, but we want to cut as well. Mmm. I'll cut it. Hang on! What do I do? Press the silver button on top. That one? Drop it, though. That one? Camera. Never work with... Cut! Never work with children or animals, I say. I think these guys had too much of that coffee before. They're all blowing all up. Alright, we're on a dinner now, I think, are we? Yeah! Is this dinner time now, Aurora? Yeah! Alright, pretty simple. You tuck these guys in a pot of boiling water, warm them up. That's actually quite little hot, too. Um, down the track, I'm going to get you guys some of these flameless heaters. So you've got a bigger bag that these go into. With a little bit of water, and they make a chemical reaction with thermite, I think. I'm hungry with dinner. I can't remember. <laughs> but um, they're called flameless heaters, and when you're out bush, you don't even need to light a fire to warm your dinner up. Wait, isn't all this for one person? Oh, yeah, you know. at the table. Now, I chose spaghetti bolognese. You've got a choice of beef casserole, chicken italiano, and spag bog. Chicken and veggie, chili con carne or vegetable curry. Let's give this spag bog a go, guys. Yeah! Yuck! Cool. Yeah. 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 Looks like the tin stuff. Yeah. That looks cool. Yeah! 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 Ye
Or uh, that's enough now. Oh, right? it smells nice. Uh, um, can mm, I try doesn't some? Doesn't smell too bad. Yeah, let's give it a bit of a mix because it probably settled a bit during this. When was this one packed? Packed on June 2017. This is nearly a year old already, guys, and it still hasn't gone off. Got some ration pack. Wait, you always buy a ration packs. Let's give this a go. Mm. That's actually not bad. Spaghetti. Have a go, Chris. I'm Christian. Can you give me something before, please? Can I have a go? Mmm. Not bad, but it doesn't taste like normal spaghetti bolognese, but mm, it tastes good. Yeah. Here you go, cameraman. You guys can get out of in that one. How's, what does that taste like? Alright, this tea should be brewed. Yeah, hang on. I'm going to get rid of the tea bag. Probably make a mess everywhere. That spaghetti bolognese tastes better than mum's. Now, I'm going to give this, go, this tea a go while it's still black. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What does it taste like? Give us the stuff. Give us the stuff. Not sure what sort of tea that is, but. Uh, <coughs> it tastes, tastes alright. It tastes like water. Yeah, you don't have any sugar when it's like that. Mmm. Give us some cushion. Wait. Uh, I don't know at all. I want some more of that. Speckle. Yeah, that's what I said. My mortar dinner, Do you want tea, Jared? Yeah. Don't drink it all because we've still got some more of that. Good old condensed milk. Mum, what do you know? Tastes yeah. like coffee. Alright, let's get this up the road. Can I have some more spaghetti bolognese? Don't eat it all, Chris. We want some too. Yeah. Oh, that place is really good. You guys need to buy one of these. I need all that. Yeah, no, I'm no. pretty sure that stuff Stop. you can buy in a can. Stop. The rest is for them too. There you go, you guys. Right, I'll grab that spoon. Right, hang on. I need that spoon. You grab the fork. What the fork? And then after dinner, we're gonna have some dessert. Yep, yeah, that's coming up next. Once we finish this bag bog off. Give you old taste the uh, sugar and milk in one. What else could you ask for? Sugar! Mmm, pretty good. Oh, can I try it now? Oh yeah, that's good. Leave some for Aurora, guys. Can I try some now? <coughs> mm. Oh, a bit. Can I try some now with the condensed milk? This really isn't bad for, you know, packaged food. You guys really need to buy one of these. Load it up on YouTube, do we want with it? I said the rest was We're going to put a link down in the bottom now, do we too, Chris? Yep. Link in description. That's yummy. Shout out mm. to Crazy Ration Hacker. The hacker. Crazy Ration Hacker and Steve Nine and Steve MRE 1989. Uh -huh. Well, I think it's Steve MRE Info 1989. I haven't watched this videos for a while. And also, um, shout out to Jared Roberts. Um, he's a good YouTuber. Um, that's the cameraman. Yeah. There you go, Rory. Finish that off. Go chuck him a few right. subscribers, bro. One second. I have to say, this ration pack's really been a lot better than I expected for like, yeah, the place I showed. I thought it was going to be bad, but then like after I tasted everything, it was like good. But hey. And cut. Where you going? Fuck, I didn't pay so bad. Cut! Well, what did you just say? Play another bloody technical. Oh. Another technical interruption, but now I'm doing it too, guys. Anyway, that was good. We've just got one last little bit to do, and that's dessert. We have the dark mm. milk chocolate, and there's just enough for a cube each for everyone. One for you, two for me, one for you, one for you. Let's give this a go. Wait, try this one first. Chris, you gonna have some chocolate, mate? Yeah. It smells a bit like, mmm. It is dark, but it's not that dark. It's still. It tastes nice. It's in between, I reckon. It tastes like advent calendar chocolate, I reckon. Yeah. You guys reckon that too? Yeah. Because 
Yeah, I thought they were selling the same. Really isn't bad. Just to wrap things up, we've got the candy chocolates, which are actually M and M's. They're non-branded candy chocolates. So let's give them a go. Something yay. Lots for me. Lots for you. Of course, I bought them for me. Something yay. And some for cameraman Jared. Chazzo. Wonder if they melt in the mouth and not in the hand. Mmm. Alright. Oh my god. That, that's better than m &Ms. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. What are you doing, Rory? Trust You're me. You're gross on camera for the whole world to see, are you? I don't like m &Ms, but these taste well, ten times better than m &Ms, I'll tell yeah. you. Oh yeah, these are different somehow. It's like the rest of the Russian pack of Glenn. Made and packed in New Zealand from local and imported ingredients. Imported ingredients. But yeah, they're pretty good. Mm. Wrapping up now, guys. Yeah. Rory, what was your favourite part of the Russian pack? Yeah. I think someone needs a bucket. She looks like she's going to be sick. Uh. Alright, what's your favourite beer? Beat them up. Okay. Like five-year-olds. Chris, what was your favourite part of the meal? Well, I reckon the spaghetti bolognese. Mm, it's I pretty good. Have, yeah, I've never actually had it like that before. And it's a lot better than I thought it would be. Brendan, what's your favourite bit? Uh, that spag bog was pretty good, but I reckon my favourite part was actually that strawberry jam. That was really good strawberry jam. And my... Yeah, what, what was your favourite bit, Jared? Oh. I have to say, mm, the mini green noodles. Yeah, there's all pretty good things there. Right, guys, that's the end of our video. The, the, the breakfast. You like the muesli, did ya? Have to get stuff like that again. All right, guys, that's the end of my really the first YouTube video I've done. I hope you enjoyed it for a first time amateur and I'll have some pretty good stuff coming down the track too. See ya! Say bye. Say bye. bye. See ya. See you guys! Peace!